The Forgotten Patients of Ashland Mental Facility The Forgotten Patients of Ashland Mental Facility were never truly forgotten. Their screams still echoed through the halls, their tormented spirits still lingered in the room, and the dark secrets of the facility still haunted those who dared to enter. Once a place of hope and healing, Ashland Mental Facility became a prison for those deemed mentally unstable. Patients were locked away in isolation cells, forced to endure electrous hot therapy and experimental treatments that left them terror-stricken and broken. As time passed, the facility became more and more corrupt, with staff members abusing their power and using patients for their own sick pleasure. The patients' cries for help went unheard, and their pleas for mercy were ignored. One stormy autumn night, a group of urban explorers snuck into the abandoned facility, seeking adventure and thrills. Little did they know they were entering a place, filled with the tortured souls of the forgotten patients. As they wandered through the halls, they heard whispers of the patients who were once held captive there. They saw flashes of the horrors that had occurred in those rooms. They felt the cold, clammy hand of those that had never left, and heard the rustle of chains long since worn away. Just as they were about to leave the facility, they were greeted by one last patient, a woman who had been locked away for years, forgotten and left to rot. Her once beautiful features were twisted and deformed, and her eyes, filled with anger and malice, followed them, as they walked past. One of the explorers turned back to take one last look, and was greeted by the woman's ghostly figure, hovering above his shoulder. He screamed as he felt her bony fingers tighten around his throat, choking the life out of him. The others tried to run, but soon found themselves trapped in the asylum, surrounded by the vengeful spirits of the patients they had disturbed. They were never seen again, their fate left to the mercy of the spirits who still linger. In the forgotten halls of Ashland Mental Facility,